You are always in style in good fitting pants. You, no matter what age you are, no matter what style you wear, no matter what size you are, no matter what sewing ability you have. So we're gonna start with a basic, just a basic pull-on pattern. Now, one of the things that I would like to talk about in the beginning, by the way, my name is Judy Kessinger, the Fit Nice System, and I wanna talk about comfortable pants because that is important, not only that they fit well, but that they are comfortable. I have ladies tell me all the time, if I could just take my pants and roll them over at the front or on the side or something like that. So let me show you how to eliminate all of those problems. It's very simple to do. We're gonna use draw cord elastic. Now, draw cord elastic has has a draw cord right in the center of it, but I like the elastic because it has good elasticity and good recovery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of elastic that's comfortable, and the way you make this elastic comfortable is to take it, stretch it snug around the fullest part of you, which is usually your hips, and then you're going to take the two ends and sew them together. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this at the end, but we're gonna take that circle of elastic and you're gonna put your pants on before you ever do anything, after you finish the side seam and inside leg seam and crotch seam, put the pants on, take chalk, put the elastic over the top of it, and you're actually gonna draw a line right at the top of that elastic. That tells you exactly where that needs to be. Now, what's the difference? Well, if you're short in the front, you can pull it up more in the front, pull it up more on the sides, pull it up more in the back. This allows you the comfort of that crotch depth. Whatever you have left over up here, you can literally cut that off, take it back to your pattern, and you are ready for pair number two. So now we've put the comfort into our pants and the fit into our pants. So let's take that pattern and change it up just a little bit. I have just a plain master pattern and it has a 5 8 in seam allowance. So to, so to change the looks, and if you look behind me, you've got all these different looks. To change the looks of all those, we're literally just gonna change the seam allowance. So let's see how easy this is to do. First of all, fabric. I love fabric of all kinds and shapes, but this is woven fabric. Woven fabric has no stretch to it. So when I sew that, I'm going to use my 5 8 inch seam allowance on the inside leg seam, the outside leg seam, and the crotch seam. If I want to change that up just a little bit, and let's just say I want to put a fly front zipper in that, I can literally take my master pattern again that I've used before and add a box to it. And I can add the box to the front. That is where the fly front zipper will go. This fabric is called menswear wool, and you'll find this in a lot of the stores. I personally love the fabric because it doesn't wrinkle. So if you want to go into the store and check this out, just grab it in your hand. Your hand is moist and it's warm, and let it go and see if it wrinkles. So if that's important to you, check out the menswear wool, you'll love it. Again, I have a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So I have inside leg seam, outside leg seam and the crotch seam, even where the zipper goes, this is all still the 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now I'm gonna take that exact same pattern, change it up just a little bit with knit. Knit fabric comes in a lot of different weights. You wanna choose a knit that has a little bit heavier weight because you're gonna wear it as pants. I love any kind of knit that has good recovery. So when you go into the store to shop for your knit, don't do this. I'll take just a little piece. Grab a big piece of that knit and pull. Make sure it goes back to what you started with. And if it doesn't, just put it back and let somebody else buy it because you wanna make sure that you have the recovery and the good knit. This knit only stretches two ways. It stretches from selvage to selvage. So that's a two way stretch. When you make your knit pants, we're gonna change it just a little bit more, and we're gonna use an inch seam allowance, same pattern now, you haven't changed the pattern, inch seam allowance on the outside leg seam, 
inch seam allowance on the inside leg seam and keep that 5 8 inch crotch seam. Now remember, we shortened this just a minute ago, so that crotch seam is gonna be really comfortable. If you look behind me, you can see that the one, the, the garment that has the green top to it, those pants are knit. So it's a beautiful, beautiful way to get a narrower leg in the thigh area and in the bottom of the leg. So you have a really pretty knit that way. Now this is a four-way stretch, and I call these pants lady legs. They're ladylike leggings. Maybe you don't want that really, really tight fit of leggings, but you want a softer fit. This is simple to do. First of all, a lot of this is in that fabric. Make sure when you buy fabric to do this style, you wanna make sure that it has four-way stretch. So you can see I'm stretching it from selvage to selvage, but guess what? I can also stretch it lengthwise. Again, make sure that fabric has good recovery. When we do this one, we're going to do an inch seam allowance on the outside leg seam, an inch seam allowance on the inside leg seam, and believe it or not, we're gonna do an inch seam allowance on the crotch. And that just graduates those seam allowances and it graduates that fit without having to make a new pattern. So look at all the different styles that you can do from that one pattern. Now I'm gonna change just a little bit. This is an easy one, I promise you, because I'm all for easy. This fabric is called ITY, and you may have seen that on some of the um, shopping uh, sites for fabric. That means interlock twist yarn. It's a knit, it stretches, and it's kind of a slicky fabric. Most of your ITY fabric is a print, so choose a print that you really like. Now I'm gonna take that plain pattern, obviously it's a little pattern, and I'm gonna lay it on another piece of, of a pattern ease or some kind of tracing material. And I'm literally just going to add, as you can see, to the side seams. So more like a little rectangle, a little triangle down here. And when you make this style, you're gonna wind up with more of a skirt look. These are called palazzo pants. They've been around for a long, long time, but now they're calling it the new wide leg pants. Very, very comfortable. It's the last one over here, and you can see it has a black t-shirt with it, but look how cute that looks at the bottom. So you get a little bit more fullness. Now that we've had fun with all of this, let's go back and talk just a little bit about the draw cord elastic. I told you there was draw cord in the middle of it, and people ask me all the time, why do you want to use draw cord elastic. Well, one of the problems that a lot of ladies have with pull-on pants is they don't stay up. They sit down and they have to rearrange the top of their pants. The draw cord elastic has a cord in the middle. And by the way, there's double amount of cord in whatever amount of elastic you use. So when you cut, after you've sewn this in and you cut that cord, you tie the cord and your that cord acts exactly like a fitted waistband. So it's absolutely fabulous. Now let's go to the sewing machine so I can show you how to actually sew this elastic in because it's very, very simple to do. First of all, you wanna make sure on your machine that you have a stretch needle. And the stretch needle will allow it to pierce that elastic. If you use a universal needle, you're gonna cut the little elastic pieces that are in there. So you wanna use a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle, either one of those. Put this under your machine and lower the foot like this. And when you lower the foot, put your one, put your needle down into the elastic. That's like your third hand. Now, when you sew on elastic, you wanna make sure that you hold the elastic front and back. Because if you take the elastic and simply pull, you're gonna break your needle. We don't wanna break needles here. So you just wanna get in the habit of holding it front and back, and then you are ready to sew. And all we're gonna do is just follow the line. If you find this hard to do, anytime you find any sewing hard to do and keeping your line straight, 
draw it. There are all kind of markers on the, on the market that you can literally draw the line for you to follow. But I'm just sewing right along the edge and I'm sewing from sets of pins to sets of pins because I uh, actually pinned this in the center front, center back, and both side seams. So I'm gonna hold this front and back. Again, put your needle in, stop, go to the next set of pins. We're gonna pick it up and we're literally going to sew. Now, after we've sewn our four rows, we're gonna take it off of the machine and I'm gonna go back over here and show you exactly what this looks like when it's sewn in. You can see there's my four rows and after you sew it in, you go right to the inside. Now this is a little nylon casing that this cord is in. So all you have to do is literally just pull on the cord and pull it to the inside. This cord is not gonna come out because remember, we zigzag that in the back and that's gonna hold that in place. So you are ready to wear your nice, comfortable pants in all of these different styles.